Okay, so on to our first design principle from SOLID. So the S is for single responsibility. Now the single responsibility principle states that every class should have a single responsibility and that the responsibility should be entirely encapsulated by that class. Now this is related to a concept known as cohesion, which refers to the degree to which elements of a class or module belong together. So a class which suffers from no cohesion would be dealing with too many unrelated responsibilities within the system. And a class with high cohesion, which is something you would want to aim for, a class which does adhere to this single responsibility principle, it will be a very focused class. There shouldn't be more than one reason to, to change a class. It should be dealing with just a single piece of functionality. OK, so let's look at an example of what that looks like now. So you can see here we've got a, a circle class. It has methods that allow it to return its area, area of the circle, its circumference, as well as draw this circle on a, a user interface surface of some sort. Now, this violates the, the single responsibility principle because the circle class is concerned with two different pieces of behaviour here two different responsibilities. It's concerned with the geometry of the circle provided by the area and circumference methods and it's also concerned with how to render or draw the, the circle on a user interface. So we've got geometry aspects to its behaviour as well as user interface aspects. Now certainly the, the user interface elements may certainly depend on the, the geometry of the circle but the class still violates that principle. So you could find yourself in a position here where there are two reasons you'll have to change the circle class. One of which is some geometry changes. Maybe it's adding new methods, maybe there's a bug in an existing method. But you also have to change the circle if you want to change how it's rendered. And what happens if you want to render a circle in different ways? You'll be complicating this class even further, adding maybe more draw methods, different flags to the draw method, for instance. So ideally, you'd only want to be changing the circle for one reason only. So what we can do is split the circle into two classes, a circle class, which is still about the geometry of the circle, and a circle UI class, in this case, which knows how to draw that circle. So now I've completely separated those two aspects of its behaviour. This is going to make it far more maintainable going forward, and it will make it a lot easier to test too.